mail time. I haven't done a mail time since I don't know when. And most of this stuff is from like pre-pandemic times. There's no way I'm gonna get through all these in one day. So I thought I'd just do it for a couple of hours and see how many I get through. I hope you like mail time because there's gonna be a few of these videos coming up, I think. Because taking stuff out of boxes and showing it to the camera and waiting for it to focus is kind of annoying, uh, I have a piece of technology here today to help me. It's this, this is what's known as a piece of green foam core. And if I put it under this camera, anything that appears on here will appear on the screen like this. Amazing. This technology has been around since like the 1970s. All right, first one. This is from Telstar Logistics in uh, San Francisco. Teeny tiny fire truck calendar. Uh, I know the person who owns this, his name is Todd. And uh, he used to work at Instagram. Stickers, hello, my name is Kitty. He also has an absolutely mint R32 Skyline that he bought because of the beer can. I don't know how you figure that out, but there you go. So he's also got this uh, tiny little fire truck over in San Francisco. Apparently it came from Nagano. And uh, he's actually been to Nagano and like been to the actual shed where it used to live. Kirigamine, oh, it's the same place where that uh, Itasha show was. Thank you, Todd, for the remaining seven months I can use on this calendar. Next one, from Serial 9. I already know what this is. Arcadia steering wheel. So the retro theme on there. This is cool, this is going on the JZX for sure. Anodized bolts, hardware, another flag, a new shift knob and little rings to replace the one that burned down on the uh, old JZX, and horn button and hat and stickers. Happy 2023, looking forward to working together on the new JZX Cresta Bros. As usual, thank you, Serial9. Yeah, the Cresta is sitting over there behind the camera. Actually, this is the first time I've used the workshop as a, like a studio. I can't show you what's over there because it's a secret. Next one, this is from Greece. That is amazing. Model of the beer can skyline with the mismatched wheels and everything. There's me. And he's got the card and everything. No tomorrow garage. And there's the back. No tomorrow. Is that how it's spelled? No tomorrow. There's no letter in it, but I remember this guy DM'd me on Instagram. What's his name? I can't read it. It's in Greek. I'm half Greek, but I can't speak Greek. Then Milo Elenica. The destroyed Shinokoba sticker and on the uh, flaking paint too. Put it there. Next one, Next Level Drift from Warsaw. Last time I went to Poland, Next Level gave me one of their hoodies and I wore it for about a year straight. It was the most comfortable thing. I suppose uh, Polish, it gets pretty cold in Poland so they don't mess around when it comes to, uh, to hoodies. For the people who want to go to the next level. Lanyards, I have so many lanyards. Stickers, shiny stickers, and this is better for the weather right now, t-shirt. Thank you, Next Level. I love your hoodies. Um, Polish. Dziękuję. All right, here's a good one. Yeah. I like HKS, and HKS likes me. I'll put them nicely over here. HKS R32, HKS sticker, little HKS stickers, uh, premium strap mask. Luckily, we don't need those anymore, I hope. Hat, towel, shirt, bigger towel, another towel, oil can strap, another oil can strap. Oh, it's like a windbreaker. Ah, this is proper track wear, isn't it? Hey, this is the box from the, the G-Shock. I'm not wearing it today. This is honestly one of the best liveries ever, isn't it? The HKS livery. I like it. You know when you go to Cars and Coffee and there's always that old boomer wearing all Ferrari gear? This is the much, much cooler version of that. One good thing too, in about a week, I'll be able to legitimately put this sticker on my S15. Thank you, HKS. All right, next one is from... Oh, Hard Tuned. No. Oh. Oh, it says on the back, doesn't it? That is a shoebox. Hey, Alexi, hope these goodies arrive safely. Hope you had a good Christmas and New Year. That's how long ago this was. Oh, these are these uh, illuminating panel things. Yeah, I'm gonna need that soon because uh, I'm going to an event where I need illumination. Shoes, I can always do with shoes because I have size 13 feet 
and you cannot buy a size 13 in Japan at a regular shoe store. You just can't. It goes up to 11. Is this laces? Yeah, it is. Haruna-san, that's like the initial D mountain. And a turbo one. Okay, I'll have to do a driving review of these. I remember when I first got here, there was an Adidas store that had just opened up in Shibuya. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna go there, get some of those like limited edition Japan, you know, uh, superstars. And I asked the guy for a size 13, and he might as well have asked for a size 100. He's like, no, we don't have those here. I was really disappointed by that. Shred till you're dead. It's a shame it's so hot here right now. Oh, by the way, remember car people, these things? Sorry, but it has to come off. There we go. Now we're safe, because they can get caught in the engine bay, you know, when you're working. Thank you, Hard Tuned. This was sent from within Japan. Oh, okay. American Kugensky. Oh, wow, look at this. Oregon. Yeah, this is the thing over in the States, isn't it? Oh, that's cool. Is that like um, California? Oh, there's other things in here too. Are they actual photos too? That's rad. Good Brian Club. This is like a complete like how-to. Here we go. All the words. Do I need a scooter now? The only scooter I have is this. Here we go. This is my Itasha Moto Compo, and it's never been on a video. Well, it's been on like one video for like a minute. Probably should make a proper video about it. Here's all the scooters. We need to pick one. I think Dio's are pretty cool. Maintenance. Wow, this is a real passion project. I'm not sure what their contact details are, but if you want to find them, you'll be able to find them. Australia? Ooh, okay, this will be useful coming up. Three-footed monster. This is a magnetic mount. There we go. This was made by a friend of, whoop, oh, it's actually, <laughs> look, it sticks to the table. All right, watch this. That's no joke. It's got um, rubber and they're on springs so it can go on like a curved surface and has a ball joint at the top. And here, it's got a GoPro accessory and that's actually, I think it's a mobile phone holder as well. Australian made, this is made by a friend of mine. If you've ever seen the 1JZ meeting videos, it's that guy. Oh, it's a mini one too. Oh, you said two. Oh, it has a, like a shoe on the side for like lights and stuff like that and flashes. I didn't know he'd sent two. Let's see, how, let's see how strong this one is. Yep, that one is also very strong. These will 100% get used on the videos. Ah, and there's a safety strap as well. So I think some like racetracks won't let you uh, use stuff like this without a safety strap. Thanks, Mark. I didn't know you'd sent two. There you go, so check out Three Footed Monster. All right, next one. This has been sent from inside Japan. Master Garage. <laughs> oh, I remember these. <laughs> no more Banzai Attack with a, with a bonnet pin. So when, if you're driving and all of a sudden the hood goes whap like that, like that's back in the day when they'd say Banzai, they go, Banzai, like, that, like they'd raise their arms up like that as a cheer. I agree with that. Yeah, always check your bonnet pins. And this one, this is funny. No, only people who've been to Nico Circuit will get this one. At Nico Circuit, there is a uh, food shed, and this is the old lady who ran it for a really long time. And it's honestly the, some of the best track food I've ever had. Thank you, Master Garage. All right, next one from Arizona. Hello, Merch. I'm just sort of wondering, is this something that I ordered, or is this something someone sent to me? Oh! I thought they forgot about this. It's my, uh, my Myrone shirt. There we go. If you don't know Myrone, he's the guy who does the theme song for all the Noriero videos. Perfect, this is thin and it's got long sleeves so I can wear this to the track. I got some small ones. First one is James Flynn from Australia. Oh, uh, epilepsy alert. I think the, the green screen might not like these. This is James Flynn, he's a young karting driver and uh, he's been over to Japan a couple of times with his dad and uh, I remember they sent me these stickers to like, go and take photos with like famous drivers. These are gonna be worth about hundred bucks each when he becomes a Formula One driver. Good luck on your motorsport endeavors. Uh, this next one is from uh, the Lonely Auto Club in Canada. Look at this lovely handwriting. Hello again, Alexi, greetings from Canada. Your latest content with getting the Mark II back on track has been great to see. That's how old these stickers are. Oh man, 
Such a cool car. Was. Encloses some stickers from Lonely Auto Club. Hope the Beams sticker makes it onto the new daily. Matt. Thank you, Matt. Sort of wondering whether they're still around or not. Because <laughs> this is from before the JZX burned down. I need a big board in the back here that I can just put all these stickers on. I have enough. I could probably cover this entire wall with stickers. Thank you, Matt. Sweet tooth. Hi, Alexi. Here's some stickers for the new daily. I didn't end up stickering up my van uh, because I like it to be a bit more, you know, not all covered in stickers. Always enjoy your videos. Please come visit the UK, Benny. I do like these Celica stickers. They're quite cool. Oh yeah, speaking of the Mark II, did they put stickers in here? Somebody from Switzerland got sick of the fact that the Mark II was missing the front indicators. So he got some like Russian replicas and uh, sent them. So one of these was actually on the car when it burned down. So I have a remaining one. Oh, high chance. I'll, I'll cover that rude word up there. Maybe I can use it in the future. Thank you. So we do a big one. All right, it's your boys, Koru Works, soft hat, Pokemon cards, flag, oh, new Team Rowdy shirt, fuzzy dice, fuzzy dice, fuzzy dice, uh, embroidered hoodie, T-shirt, T-shirt, exciting car parts, reservoir cap. Is that Patrick Bateman? It is. Have you seen the Koru Works cap cover? SR20 oil cap with Dale Earnhardt on it. Um, toe hooks. All right, unfortunately, because this is green, this is not going to show up well on the green screen, so I'll have to bring it over here and show it to you. So SR20 ignition valley cover with like a clear section. Radiator stays. More toe hooks. I like these toe hooks. These are cool. Uh, spin turn knob with a little logo on there. Hood prop bracket. This is cool. So crank angle sensor cover. This is a billet crank angle sensor cover for the SR20. I showed this to some Japanese friends and they said, foreigners love making accessories like this, don't they? And I was like, well, technically they're sort of copying Japanese style to do this. So yeah, but that's, I like that. Big Koru Works uh, plug belly cover for the 1JZ. Look at this box too. I got hooked up, now I have to put them on the car, I guess. I'm in the mood, so let's do another big one. Oh yeah, we are likewise. All right, it's obvious they watch my channel because they didn't send me like the super flashy stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna put this one on. Uh, collars and the little like installation grub screw things. I need more cars so I can install more shift knobs on them. Oh, it's rolling away. How do you explain that when your mum walks in, you know? What is this? That might be a good one for the Pro Box, honestly. And a black one. Nice. Okay. The knurled one is super heavy. These are nice and light. And this one, I don't even know where I can put that. Oh, I know where you can put it, Alexi. <laughs> and just in case that's not long enough for you. Here, so you got the... Whatever you do, don't pause the video right now. I've never actually looked at a... Uh, we are likewise knob IRL. They are very well made. Thank you for the uh, knobs. Uh, import Bible in Canada. It's something uh, appropriate, but that bunta smelling like black ice. Hi Alexi, hope you're doing well. Would love to chat sometime when you're available. Thanks for your time. Oh, okay. Uh, sure, uh, DM me. How long ago was this? Hey Dad, can I borrow the car to take my girlfriend on a drive? Sure son, don't spill the water. Ugh. I should hang this in the Pro Box. You know the Pro Box stinks? I didn't really realize until the other day, it absolutely stinks. Next one, Adam from uh, New South Wales, Australia. Hey Alexi, my name's Adam, long time fan from Sydney. I designed these stickers in Illustrator and cut them on my own vinyl plotter, so apologies if they're not the same professional quality as the rest of your collection. I included a few color varieties Hopefully you'll find one of them worthy to put on the real Beans 8.6. I also chucked in a couple of my original designs just for kicks. I love the fact that as I was reading it, the right stickers came out. That was really cool. I don't have a business or anything to spruik. I just post photos of my MR2 on my Instagram below. There you go. There's his MR2. And that is 100% Wakefield Park for sure. Kayvon from Arizona. Oh God, it's anime stickers. Why are so many people from Arizona into anime? Oh, it's just somebody on my Discord. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, basically, he's been ma <laughs> Viper. Uh, long story short, he makes meme stickers. 
you may find yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile. That's, that's nice. That's Zetsubo Sensei. Here you go. Doriftos. Um, Flavor Town. Okay. So if you want some uh, meme stickers, here you go. This is the guy. Waifu Squad. Waifu Squad dot biz. Thanks to everyone who sent stuff in. By the way, I just found this. I should probably uh, show this. This, is, this was also for the Mark II, a uh, Psycho dash mat. It's the wrong color, but I guess this one can go on the Cresta as well. Psycho Custom Works, they're from Australia. Really well made. Now, I barely made a dent in the boxes today, so if you sent something in and I didn't get to it, I'll get to it in the future one. I'm gonna have to do like four more of these to do them all, or at least, I don't know, depending on how this goes. What do you think? Look, here we go. Ready? Watch this. Ooh. Look, I'm a floating head. Ooh, spoo Ooh, spooky. Y'all cowards don't even smoke crack. What's up with that? 